Hi all. In this video, we will see how pre-SQL and post-SQL will work in Informatica. Here, this pre-SQL and post-SQL are present in Informatica source call for transformation. This is a source call for transformation. Under properties tab, we can see pre-SQL and post-SQL. For this, we for these two SQLs, generally we use insert, update, and delete statements. And to talk about database connection, this pre-SQL and post-SQL will use source database connections. And pre-SQL will execute before pipeline is run, and post-SQL will execute after the pipeline is completion. Now we will see an example here. I have two databases. One is source database and another one is target database. In source database, I have a table pre post SQL. In in this table, I have two columns: application ID and application name. In this table, we do not have any records, and I have another table in target database with the same name pre post SQL. In this table also we do not have any records. Now I will write a two SQL statements. Insert into pre post SQL values. Application ID as one. Application name as test. And another statement is delete pre post SQL where application ID equal to one. Here this I will take this in insert statement into pre SQL and I will take this delete statement into post SQL. Initially in source database pre post SQL table we do not have any records. So, in target database also we do not have any records. So before running the mapping, this pre SQL will be executed, and one record will be inserted into pre SQL pre post SQL table, and that record will be loaded into target database pre post SQL table. And once the mapping runs successfully. Post SQL will be executed, and in that post SQL, I am I am taking the statement delete from pre post SQL. So once the mapping is completed, the record will be deleted from the table. Means before mapping run in source table, we do not have any records, and after mapping completion in source table, we do not have any records. However, if we look into the target table, one record will be inserted into this table. I will create a mapping to implement this logic. I will create a source from sources import from database. Table pre post SQL. Taking pre post SQL table and in target designer, I'm taking same table from target database. In mapping designer, I will create a new mapping. I'm naming the mapping as m underscore pre underscore post underscore scale.
yeah this is the source call pair and i will take a target transformation is the target transformation i'm connecting these two mm. for mapping properties in pre sql and post sql i'm taking the sql statements for pre sql i'm taking insert statement in post sql i am taking the delete statement now i will create a session for this mapping in informatica workflow manager under task developer i am taking a new task that is session s underscore m underscore pre underscore post underscore sql I am associating this session with the m underscore p underscore post underscore SQL mapping. Then I am going to the session properties and the mapping cap connection properties. I am changing the source and target DB connections. Here is the target one. I am taking it that database as target. For this source call, where I'm taking the connection as source and source connection value, source database and target connection value, I'm selecting it as target database. Here it is source connection. Here we can also see our SQL, PSQL, and PostSQL under source sources tab. We have source call pair transformation, and these properties are belongs to our source call pair mapping transformation. Okay. And then workflow designer, I create a map workflow. Name is W underscore P underscore post underscore SQL. I'm joining these two with the line task. Now, now I will run this workflow. In Informatica workflow model, we can see our session run status. If you go to session log, we can find our pre-session SQL insert into. This is our pre-SQL. And also we can find our post SQL also. Here it is the source call pair. Initially in source database we do not have any record in pre post SQL table. However, with the effect of pre SQL statement, one record is inserted into this table, and that record is loaded into the target database pre post SQL table. And after that, post SQL is deleted that record from the source database. Post session executing post session SQL for source delete from pre post SQL where application is equal to one. 
we will verify the same in our database it is from source we do not have any records in source database in target we have one record that is which, you, which we have inserted using pre-sql statement this is the statement and the same record will be deleted using this statement using this delete statement from the source database that's why in our source database in pre post sql table no record is available thank you